Give Fritz Orr several kinds of wood and a little bit of time, and he can turn out something that is both beautiful and functional. Canoe paddles, uh, single bladed um, paddles with a either palm or T grip. Fritz made a few canoes, but found that was too time consuming. Now he sticks exclusively with the paddles. The paddles allow me to put the same kind of detail into it, but the process is shorter. But it also allows me to continue to use hand planes and spoke shavers and things like that, so the paddle is actually handcrafted. Few people or manufacturers take the same amount of time and effort that Fritz pours into making every paddle. There's a lot of art to it, and a lot of science to it. I have developed my own unique process. That process involves taking various types of wood, such as walnut, cherry, bird's eye maple, and even some tropicals, and fitting all those together to make something special. I'll cut the wood into pieces and make it, or put the paddle together like it was a puzzle. Different pieces are shaped before they're put together, then it's glued together, and then it's uh, sculpted a little bit with some with an orbital sander and then the final shaping is with the old traditional hand planes and spoke shapes. In going through that process, Fritz fine tunes all the puzzle pieces before the final assembly. A big part of that is because of his respect for the wood and his desire not to waste any more than necessary. I want to actually have less dust on the floor and more paddles on the table. His attention to detail and the aim of creating a unique paddle begins with picking the pieces of wood with which to work. I'll go through a stack at the lumber yard to find the board that's unique. Then Fritz uses a variety of techniques to bring out the best in the wood. The wood took 20, 30 years to grow into a tree, and so it, it, it's worthy of taking the time to find out where the beauty is in the wood and then making it uh, be kind of the prominent expression in the paddle. It's an heirloom to me. When, when I make a, a person a paddle, it is something that is going to last more than one generation. The result is a product that appeals to people visually as much as it does from a functional point of view. Some are gifts, uh, some are paddles that people buy to use, some are displayed, but all are, are built to use. Looks are not everything, and Fritz is dedicated to making certain that each paddle can satisfy even the most demanding canoeist. The agility of the blade in the water is an important factor. Uh, the balance between your two hands is an important factor. It's nice that uh, a large set of people do use them because they are built to be felt in the water. Fritz is being recognized for the quality work he produces. There are plenty of press clippings lauding his ability. Paddle making was just a hobby, but now it has turned into his vocation. I entered a uh, contest in a magazine called Garden and Gun and was a finalist. And all of a sudden I found myself making more and more paddles. As Fritz makes more and more paddles, his technique improves and he becomes more efficient. For instance, at first, it took him 25 hours to make a single paddle. Since then, I have cut it down to 18 to 15. In addition to making numerous styles of paddles, Fritz has become intrigued with designs from long ago. Native peoples around the world, a lot of their paddles were pieces of art. So I try to follow that tradition. Early paddles were crafted in such a way as to fit the environment and reflect the culture of the maker. Fritz is working on a series of historic replicas, most mimicking the designs of North American tribes. Six to eight to begin with, with the goal of just doing as many as I can. 
While Fritz does still get out on the water at times to teach canoeing, making paddles has become his full-time job. I find myself here at 7, sometimes 6 in the morning. Sometimes I'll be here at 10 o'clock at night, but that's okay. Uh, it's, it's very enjoyable. I get lost in it. It's a good thing he finds it enjoyable because demand for his work is high. Right now I'm back ordered and I am making steps to try to reduce the time factor without eliminating the handcraft steps. The idea going forward for Fritz is to increase production. My goal is, is to be able to build somewhere between two to three hundred paddles a year. And to keep up the pace for as long as possible. I could see myself going to the grave building paddles. <laughs>